So with the rear foot, you really want your dog to walk over it and then put their paws on it as they walk over it, as opposed to backing up to it. This skill will be a lot more beneficial to you when you start doing more advanced exercises later on. So if you can train it this way from beginning, it'll save you some headache later. Okay, I'm going to throw that one a little bit farther away so she can take a few more steps to get to it. Okay, and our criteria after we have both feet in contact with it is we want those ankles, we want her hocks to be vertical with the foot target.